everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through and a little bit of a tutorial on how I created this reading journal. So I used the Happy Planner discs and I went for a Happy Planner big size, which is also the letter size. Um, it's eight and a half by 11. And I chose that um, because I decided after using a really small reading planner or reading journal um, that I just wanted a lot more space. So I went ahead and went the whole entire opposite direction and I went to the letter size or the Happy Planner big size. And that was also um, easier to print all of my inserts for this. So to start out with, these are the Happy Planner mini size discs. And these I just had left over. Um, you could also buy them in a package if you don't already have them. Um, if you have like a like several, maybe like small, like mini Happy Planner um, notebooks or something that you're not using anymore, you could also mix and match the discs and um, come up with enough for um, this size planner. And um, so the cover is a frosted cover and I made this using my tutorial that I showed you guys a few weeks ago um, on how to create a frosted cover. And what I did is I just downloaded a new cut file from Etsy and that was sized for the Big Happy Planner. And um, I, used, I used my Cricut to cut this out. And so it's on the front and also on the back. And then when you open it up, I have this cover page that I made this was a printable that I bought off of Etsy and it prints out on eight and a half by 11 paper. And I added scrapbook paper to the back and just laminated it and punched it using my Happy Planner punch. And um, I just have to warn you that if you use your Happy Planner punch, you might have a hard time with this. Um, so I was kind of doing a mix of punching it in between, like gluing the two pages together and then punching it again after I laminated it. Um, so it kind of took a little bit of work around, but I did get my Happy Planner punch to work for this. I think there are better punches out there that you can purchase um, that still do the, the disc bound punching. Um, along with this, cover page. The principal also came with this back cover page. And let's see, I don't know if you can see that the glare from my ring light is kind of bad, but um, it's got some, some books on there. And then again, just the frosted cover on the back. So for all of my inserts that I made, um, I actually used a printable, a downloaded printable from Etsy. And I'll link the one that I used below. I didn't use every single page that it came with. And then some pages I printed multiple of them out. So I'll just walk through my sections. Um, okay, so the first section is my monthly section. And I wanna talk about how I created these dividers. These dividers are made with a craft plastic and I bought a package of the craft plastic from Amazon, which I'll link down below. Um, and then I used my Cricut to create these um, labels on the, on the tab. So, um, and then also this was another downloadable kind of Cricut file that I downloaded. I'll put that down below as well. Um, and it came from the List Lab, which is the same place where I got the printable or the cutout for um, the cover. So this first section is just kind of a monthly overview. I plan on starting it now, even though the bulk of this planner will be for 2023. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get started. I'm not doing a whole lot of reading right now. Um, I am I'm keeping up on one series in particular, but um, with the holidays and activities and everything, it just it gets really busy. So um, I have November and December here, 
And then I just went ahead and printed out um, the rest of the year, which would be the January through December. And I just printed them back to back um, on regular copy paper. And I think I have to say that I think um, going forward, I might wanna get a little bit heavier paper to print on. I'm just thinking that once I start adding my pens and stuff, it, there might be some bleed through. So that's something that um, I'm gonna look into for the next time I print pages. Um, so now this is my shelf section, and this is where I'm going to list out all the unread books that I have on my shelf. Um, I have a lot, and so I did print four pages. I might need to print more, I'm not sure. Um, the next se section that I have is my wish list. And this is where I will just put down um, books that I want or just kind of things that I want to keep an eye on. And then I also have my book of the month. And I think this was really meant to be a page where um, like maybe you wrote down your top book of the month that you read. But I subscribe to the book of the month. Um, it's a subscription club where they put out like a few choices of books each month and then you get to choose one. Um, and then they have add-ons and stuff like that. So I'm gonna actually use this to track my actual book of the month purchase that I make instead of um, kind of, you know, what my top book was. And then the next section, um, I haven't added anything here yet because I'm gonna have to create my own insert, but it's gonna be my net galley section. And that's where I'm just gonna keep track of all of my net galley reads um, that I have, what I've read, what I need to review that sort of thing. Um, and then my next section is my DNF or my did not finish section. And um, they call this the abandoned books. And I really like that, I think that's cute. Um, so I printed out a few pages, I might need more. I tend to not DNF that frequently. Um, so I'm hoping that 12 is enough for the year, but we'll see. And then again, I haven't created a section for this yet either, but I have a pre-orders tab here. So this will just be a page where I just list out books that I've already ordered. Um, so I know if they are on their way or not once the book releases. Um, and then I have my reviews section. And this is where you can put like a picture of the book and then all of the book information um, quotes, notes, and then up here, your rating of the book. And I went ahead and printed out 50 pages for this. And that's just where I'm going to start for now. And then um, we'll see if I need more. I might not review every single book I read. So I'm thinking that 50 pages might be enough. And then the next section I have is my series tracker. And this is where you can keep track of the different books in the series that either you've read or you need to read or new books that are coming out as part of the series. Um, so it's similar to the book review page, except for um, this is kind of like the series overview up here. And then you list out um, the actual books in there and if you've read them and your rating of them. And then back here, you can also add like the actual individual book pictures with the names, the authors, and any, any sort of notes you have. So I like this, I'm a very visual person. And so um, I will definitely be printing out the different book covers and adding those there. And then my next section is challenges. And I usually participate in a few different reading challenges every year. The printable that I got came with a few that I'm gonna go ahead and use. And the first one is a book bingo. And um, those are just fun. There's all sorts of different prompts that you can do. Um, and sometimes, you know, it makes you kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit. So, um, and then this is my book shelf. And I wanna say I counted the books and there was like 48 books on each page. Um, so I think this will last me for the year to do all of my book spines on this. 
And then this is just like the 100 book challenge. So you just color in a book for everyone that you read um, and then get to your goal of reading 100 books. Um, this is a winter reading challenge that I'm doing for myself just so that I can stay on track with my reading. And what I did is I created these snowflakes and I'm gonna color in each one of these um, white snowflakes. And I think what I'm gonna do is for so many pages read or so many minutes read will be one snowflake. So I can say like one snowflake equals 20 minutes or something like that. So I still need to figure out that part, but I created that challenge for myself. And then my book club, um, it's the We Always Read Book Club. And um, mom always reads Cassie. She's kind of our, our fearless leader right now. And she went ahead and created this bookopoly reading game for us to do. Um, some people are starting it now, but I'm going to go ahead and start it in January. Um, and then my last section, which I need to add a few pieces of paper to, is just my notes section. And this is where I can add anything that, you know, anything that I want to look into more, books that I want to look into, series I want to look into, um, maybe some notes if I'm reading like some nonfiction or something and I want to jot something down. Um, and then I have these last two sections um, that are empty. So I just have these hanging out here. And if I need to create um, some more sections, I can do that. So that is my reading planner. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be starting it a little bit in November and December, um, but really the bulk of it will be in um, starting in January, 2023. And that's um, mainly like with the challenges and stuff like that is when I'll, I'll really start to work on those. So um, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks, I'll see you later, bye.